Hi, everyone. Minla Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Now, if you're watching this as a replay, generally, if you're on a computer, you can go down below and look for the little gear. You can change that and make the speed faster. If you're on a mobile device, look up in the corner, up in this area for three little dots, and you can change the speed there as well. Those of you that are here live, do definitely speak up in the chat. I greatly appreciate you being here. Well, those that are here live earn a virtual currency. Junkie Joe should be coming up here in just a moment, and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have. What are bucks? They're junk bucks. It's just a virtual point system that I have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award. And my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at lindaisrael.com, please do so and then send me a message through the contact form letting me know what your YouTube username is. Why? So I'll have your email address and I can email you your coupon code. Also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in-chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle, right now you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2,000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. Oh, my goodness. I was rushing around these last three minutes. <laughs> I've been sitting here working, trying to get some ideas that I want to share with y'all. And then I realized, oh, Hercules hasn't been outside. Oh, I better take a Benadryl. So, and I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, Whew, take a deep, 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 deep breath. How are y'all? Hope you're having a, a great past week and had a wonderful weekend. Y'all, I've been busy, 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 busy. Um, 
You should see all the new, and this is just a small sampling of them because it costs me money to make the stamps into physical stamps. So I don't get all of them <laughs> made for myself. And so I'm just showing you some. <laughs> and I think I've added roughly 60 stamps here recently. Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, lady. I made it, Julie! <laughs> You'd be so sleepy if you took a Benadryl. Well, Benadryl does not make me sleepy. It makes my husband sleepy, but it doesn't make me sleepy. Hey, Ashley, I saw your order today. You're going to get the subscription box. <laughs> Anyhow, these are some of the stamps. I just wanted to point that out. I am working with the Garden Tea Party subscription box today, and I tried to use as many of the items that come in the subscription box as I possibly can. And then I pair it with some of my scrap papers, scrapbook papers, rubber stamps, stencils, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that's an add-on kit. <clears throat> so let's get started. <laughs> All right. So I have from the subscription box this is this is from get my words out the uh, a gardening book and my friend Beverly bless her heart she is so amazing she took the books and then she rips all the pages out and then she puts them into groupings that helps me when putting the subscription box together and I give her a subscription box for doing all this work and like uh, Robin did the fibers and lace so I have this little network of wonderful women that help me so I'm going to take this book page that is in the subscription box and just so y'all have an idea if you don't get the subscription box maybe you got a digital this is what it was it is about mm, roughly nine and a smidge maybe nine and a quarter by about six and a half inches okay and i'm going to fold that in half and i'm looking at this and the inside the paper's kind of thin and I wanted some writing space. So I have these pieces of cardboard, chip, blah, 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 not cardboard, card stock. Uh, in the kit, you get a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I cut this to about four and a quarter by six inches. And I've cut two of those. I have gone ahead and gone around the edge with some distress inks. But I want to alter these just a little bit. It won't be a huge... Um, difference but I like the pattern that it makes so I'm getting my little spray box and I've got just a regular piece of copy paper here and I will center these on my copy paper kind of knowing that okay if I want to use this as a journal page how far over from the center and this is the Victorian panel stencil. Norella used this design in the kit. It was already a stencil I had for sale and I decided that I would just kind of demo it and that way you can buy this one separately. So if you get the digital download you can get this stencil and it's also featured in the kit. Hey Janice, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. You made it. I made it. All right. So I've got from the subscription box garden tea party it is a pink that's kind of a chalky pink it has a little bit of a glitter in it but I just thought it was a pretty color so we're gonna spray it over the stencil onto our our cardstock our craft color cardstock and our page in the background with this technique work with gel prints I have not used Tattered Angels on my gel plate. Now, if you want a uh, true messy watercolor mixed media look, Lori, you can use it. Because what's going to happen on your gel plate is you either end up with smudging or pooling, or if you leave it to dry, it's going to take it forever to dry. So 
yes, you can use your gel plate, but you're not going to get as strong of crisp images as you would just doing direct. And I think I forgot to clean this side of my stencil. So it has a, a different color to it, which is fine. I, for, I turned it over apparently because I used it once today, <laughs> but it works out. And I'm going to lift that up. And we're going to use all of these pieces. I'm going to flip this over and I'm spraying the backside too. Does that answer your question, sorta? You know what? If there are some mixed media things that you would like for me to do, I'll be live a week from Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, Rhonda! And I will be um, doing some techniques. I think I'm going to get out my gel plate, but if there are other things that you would like to see, then definitely speak up and make sure that Robin, um, that Robin hears or reads it and, and records it as, I want to see this. I want to see you use Tattered Angels on a gel plate. I want to see you, and then just tell me what you want, okay? Typos! Love all the different colors. Yeah, there's a ton of co colors in Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, for sure. All right, so this is from the Raspberry Apothecary. Apo I can't say it. Apothecary. Apothecary Raspberry is the rubber stamp. And I'm just using the berry portion. We're going to stamp that. The stem's up there, so kind of coming right there. And I'm going to stamp it over here like that. I'm going to go ahead and put my stamp up because I don't need it again for a while. And if I don't, then I'll lose it. Oh, I got another. I'll need that stamp later. Okay, so now, just so that I can find the center of my page, I'm folding it back on itself, just lightly creasing it. And I'm going to glue this down onto my page in the right direction. <laughs> now it's really faint. Can you see that pattern on there? It's real subtle. That's what I like about it. Oh, you need to practice. Okay, gotcha, Lori. All right, so I'm going to put glue. I'm trying to see if there's chat. Hey, chatty, crafty friends. Hello, Rhonda. I'm going to put glue across the bottom and on the inside, and we're going to make this a pocket. I won't put anything in it today, but whoever gets the journal will have the opportunity to put something in that pocket. Okay, and then I'll flip it over, and then I'll put my hand where I don't want the glue, and I'm going to glue around the three sides. Have top of the line decoder ring. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I can't think of any spy music at the moment. <laughs> I have a ton of tutorials. Of Cheryl's one of my followers posted on my wall that she has been going back and watching some of my old videos. Hey, they're still up there, y'all. They're still relevant. I I may be sharing a particular product, but if you look at it a little differently of what could I use in place of because maybe you can't get that product anymore and have some fun and do some of those old techniques that I used to do. <laughs> All right. So I've got that on there. It's kind of centered. They're not going to be right next to each other. This one's a little cockeye. I've got from the kit, this is a little teapot. And there's a teacup with some flowers in it. Isn't it gorgeous? We've had some really interesting weather here today. We've got thunder. I guess we call it sunny thunder. I don't know, but it's kind of sunny outside and it's thundering like crazy. And it hasn't really rained. So it's really noisy. You, you're, my really old ones are especially fun. You watch the old ones too, Lori. Thanks, Lori. I have a lot of tutorials. I think I have a thousand videos that I have made, y'all. 
And that's why sometimes I don't repeat things. Thank you, De uh, Ashley. Thank you so much. I don't repeat a whole lot of stuff because I have a tutorial for so many things. How do you check your buck balance? Type exclamation point B-U-C-K-S. Margie just typed it out. You got it, Sydney? Hey, by the way, uh, those of y'all, if you've earned a prize from me in the past uh, couple of weeks or month, yes, I am behind on sending those out. If you would, please, if you haven't placed an order or you've never really went to my website and you won a prize, I need your address if I'm mailing you a physical prize. I got a couple of people that I haven't received their mailing address, so it's a little difficult for me to mail a prize. Now, I'm putting a little tab on the side here, and I'm sticking it underneath here, and then I'm going to just glue it, folding it over to this side. Okay, so I'm going to fold this back, and I've got a piece of cardstock here that is one of the artist trading cards that I rounded the corners and I've got the chamomile stamp when you made your last two journal when you made your last two journals you used some of my older videos cool oh you did Lori awesome I look forward to seeing those thank you thank you thank you you knew you didn't have that many <laughs> I gave some people some uh, last live stream. Thunder and Mustang, but no rain as well. It's weird, Beverly. Thanks for stopping by today. Oh, I have to show you something that Beverly brought me. All right, so I'm doing the chamomile right here in this corner. So there's a little chamomile. Put your stamp away so you can find it another day. And then I've got on this day, and here's what I've learned here recently. Went to the eye doctor Friday, and if I need to do some detail stuff, I kind of need a second pair of glasses. So here's what I do. <laughs> I put two pair on. <laughs> I am farsighted, and my eye doctor said, really, you don't need prescription glasses. However, if you are annoyed with changing tasks and you have to look up from and you need that long vision and the short vision magnified then we may have to go into some bifocals and i remember my mom wore trifocals so i'm still wearing dollar store reading glasses basically i buy some off of amazon or i'll go to uh walgreens i'll go to the dollar store <laughs> It's okay. You like the dyeing fabric video? Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, and left, you know, doing the the uh, tattered angels, I'll lay a couple of the colors out here. Here's one of the purples, and here's a green. And especially if it's a dark color, like this one, I use blue, the dark, dark blue, and I added red, and it came out this really interesting shade of pinky here's a really dark blue one as well oh my nose all right so i'm going to glue this down as a pocket so we're going to go down the sides and across the bottom I'm trying to watch my time i'm going to put this right at the top i decided that i didn't really need to embellish the page underneath i wanted that ivory color make sure it's straight and then this is a piece of three inch by three inch scrapbook paper. It's text weight paper. And then I stamped the teapot row, the rose teapot. I think it's rose teapot. And I used tattered angels and a paintbrush and then just kind of watercolored that in. And I think I don't have this stamp set up there, but I have another stamp set that says sugar cubes teaspoons scones kettle it's called the garden tea party quartet number one and then i have ladies tea party which is called ladies uh garden tea party quartet i have that one in my shop but i don't think i got the other one in there yet so it will be there tomorrow 
my first go you water down the color way too much yeah sometimes you can you just have to add a little bit more yeah it looks similar to the dusty rose with the avocado it kind of does it kind of does all right so i'm gonna glue this right here let me grab the uh pages that beverly made she's been playing around with cherries from my cherry tree i didn't remember to save any cherries to turn into dyeing for paper but she heard me talk about it and she have or no i think she just did it uh she got some cherries from me and this is going to be the tag that goes inside and uh, made her own pages so these are I thought it was really interesting because hers did the same thing as mine. So these had tattered angels, but these were cherry. She took the cherries, boiled the water. She has a pan that has little dots in it. So she would lay this on the pan for it to dry. And then she had some textured stuff, that, fabric that she had on there. It was really cool. And then today she stopped by to bring me an order. And these are where she kind of crumpled up things on top. This is, she has an old bed spring out in her yard, in her backyard. We're redneck around here, y'all. And it's plenty big enough that she was able to put a whole bunch, and she gave me several, of pages. Here's another page. Onto her bed spring and got these really interesting patterns. I'm like, hey, I'll take all the free pages you want to give me. Those are cool textures. And these are coffee dyed papers. Here she used some lace. But I also have a blackberry bush in my backyard. And I picked a bunch of blackberries. And I'm just going to flip these really fast. And this is all the paper that I dyed using my blackberries. And it was interesting that the first papers that I put in are more pink. And the last papers are a lot deeper in purple. Isn't that interesting? They kind of look grape colored. So it was really interesting. So I had some fun dyeing some paper. Mm. Oh yeah, doing it, dyeing it with the pink you used on coffee paper. There you go. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Every time you say my name, I have to remember that you're not talking about me. Yes, not you, Bevies, Beverly. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. You love the tea, the rose teapot stamp. Thank you, Ashley. Isn't it super cute? And then here is the teacup. So this is a set. You get these two stamps together. And I colored this one the same time. This one, I used the tea as the background and I use the garden tea party pink for the handle and the rose and I use the garden tea party mint for the leaves and that was what I use on the scones label here I use the uh, lace duo I made the tag punched it then I did the lace duo put my stamped images on there and then just pulled a piece of fabric through and made a little page all right up here i think i've talked long enough that this is dry this is from the kit it looks like an old playing card front to me kind of thomas kincaid ish so we got that there so we'll flip this over oh yeah i was trying to remember what did i do on this side let's get this out of the way get you out of the way you can't be there you're in my way <clears throat> All right, so on this side, I thought I would show you, I'm showing you two different things to do today, and I just felt this crack, so I'm going to put some tape on here. These are the tickets that you get in the kit, and I ordered a new tape dispenser today that holds packing tape as well as what you call scotch tape. So these are the tickets. You get a set of four connected together tickets. And I'm just putting glue so that the ticket doesn't perforate. I've gone around the edges with some distressed ink. And I'm going to put the first one down here on the bottom of my page as a pocket. So 
I'm just going to glue here, here, across the bottom. So I really haven't altered this ticket. Oh, thank you, Morgan, for your donation. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Ashley, Margie, and Lori. Thank you all for your donation today. I won't be making a wrap cover for the journal today because I had so much stuff to go on the inside. I did not have time to plan and make an outside cover. Oh, good. Elderberry mash left over from making syrup came out kind of blue purple. Oh, I bet that was pretty. You died with cherry juice and it's a little bluish like that. Yeah, it kind of is a little bluish. Ah, gotcha, Bevy. <laughs> the other Beverly. All right, so that one's going to go there. And then I took some of the three by three cards. And you may not, I can't remember I had three by three in the subscription box this time because I was just grabbing a bunch of papers so I'd have enough on my desk. But you, I know you get four by four, so you could trim it down just a little bit. You could also use the four by four, but it would be too um, wide. You'd have to trim it. And what I did was I had some scrapbook paper that I had cut up for other elements that I used. And there was just a little sliver. So I stamped the... Uh, blah, 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 lace duo and then put down the scrap of paper and then I stamped from the dream big quartet on a scrap of paper create magic so that's going to go right here so while I'm looking at this I want to put this piece on my page and be able to get my card this one's sticking up I don't want this one sticking up as much so I'm kind of looking at that I think that's where I want it so I'm going to glue across the bottom and the sides. I helped you make a journal last night, Rhonda. Yay! I'm glad. All right, we'll put that there. And I won't put that in the pocket right now. Okay. And then I had from the garden tea party, this little stack of teacups. I thought it'd be kind of cute. So we're going to put that right here. And I just realized that I didn't get out a rubber stamp. I got to find it. It's here somewhere. Ha ha. <clears throat> This is called the envelope. So I'm going to take this stamp and stamp it on this piece of ivory paper. What is Margie doing? You have a million takers, never thought to maybe make a pocket with two. Yeah, Lori. <laughs> yeah, the, the Lace Duo is a great stamp set. I like it a lot. It's, it's very versatile, and I know that Sometimes I use the same stamp over and over, but I just really want you to see that when you invest in a rubber stamp like that, well, I'm just going to stick it here. Um, you have more options with it. You can use it more often. You don't have to just do it as a one trick pony. So this is called the envelope. It's by Beeline Designs. If you're ever looking at your stamps that you purchased from me, the red stamps, the red rubber stamps, are from Beverly at Beeline Designs. And the gray stamps are my stamps from Byland Israel. Yeah, Margie's a, junk, a hoarder of junk bugs. <laughs> okay, so this guy is going to go right here. And then I've got this guy. Let me put this back over here before I have a mess going on. It's going to go up there. And this one is expect great things. I did the same technique. It's going to go right there. And looky, we have made a page. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rhonda, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was going to make some tea before I came and got on the live, but I didn't get that far. All right, so this is the page. Thank you, Tanya, for your donation. This is the page that was made 
when we sprayed the cards. So it kind of made these little voids. Oh, let me put this one over here. Got to get the next one out. Okay, I'm going to fold it in half like so. I've got the archival ink here and I've got the leafy border, leafy border. And, and <laughs> thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to stamp this across the top. It kind of overlaps and then across the bottom. I'm going to rotate my page and kind of center it as best I can eyeball it and stamp it. And stamp it. You see what I did there? It kind of made that little frame. So I'm going to do that again on this side. Stamp it away. You're a hoarder of things, but you use your junk bugs, Lori. <laughs> well, Margie's trying to be good and not accumulate more things. So she is selective with her orders. All right, we got that side. I'll go ahead and I'm going to flip this over and fold it back the other way. And I have the wildflowers, uh, sketched wildflowers, sketched wildflowers. Thank you, Lori. You got some new distressed archival inks are fun, aren't they? Going to do a test run. Well, have fun with them. So I'm just going to basically ink the edge and just stamp right around. I like this because I can just kind of quickly do it. I don't care that it's not super dark. I just want a little bit of a pattern around the edge. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just a stamping away. See how fast that was? <laughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Sketched wildflowers. <coughs> I need to drink water. Yeah, your stamp room is full. I understand. I do, I do. I understand. Okay, stay there. All right. So, on this side, I have a couple of my new stamps. So I've got a cup of tea makes everything better. And that's everything better is the name of that one. And then this one is life begins after tea. Life begins after tea. So we're going to stamp those. I'll we'll stamp this one right here. I wanted to show pages that you don't have to spend a lot of time embellishing with thick things. You can make a few pages that just have a sentiment and stamping. Just very simple in your journal. So on this side, where is it? There it is. I gotta get all my thingies. I'm gonna put down another one of these little tabs right here. I tried. I think I did. I think I successfully used every printed portion of the kit. Sometimes I have leftovers, but today I think I'm used every single bit of the kit. Stamper and blender. I'm fast. Yeah, I and see, and I try not to buy anything if I'm not going to use it right away because I have plenty of things that I probably won't ever get to in my lifetime. This is from the kit. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm really trying not to add to my room of things. Mainly now, what I add has to do with the subscription boxes. You know, I have 
things that come with the subscription box, well, when I have the leftovers from the kit, I bring them in here to use them when I'm making the journals, and, and then that accumulates just a little bit. Okay, so I just glued those down. Now those I glued as tuck spots, so if you want, you can put something in those. I'm going to put my stamp up. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, it's time for the raffle. Oh, I better come up with a prize, huh? <clears throat> Cleaning my hands off. All right, let's put this back. I'm grabbing a few things to send your way. <clears throat> this will be good. This will be good, good, good. All right. Y'all in the raffle? the light. I saw the light. There we go. Heck, I'll even throw this in there. I'm just putting a selection of thingies together. Will y'all get in on there? <laughs> Coffee tea! <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's sometimes, you know, the simple things, Ada, you don't have to go super over embellished on all of them. Okay, so this guy is going to go in there. And you know, while I'm at it, <coughs> pardon me. Let me see if I've got two of these. I do. I have two of these square three by three so I'm just gonna round the corners <clears throat> everybody in the, everybody in the raffle all right I'm gonna put the stress things on these really fast the coloring stamp is cool isn't it <clears throat> I don't have it as a physical stamp but I do have the image added to my shop so I think we do something like that. And I just happen to have laying here, this says garden. So what if we did on there or up there? <clears throat> I may put it there because it covers up the, hmm, I have a faux postage too. All right, we're going to glue down the faux postage there. And I'm going to do it on my other page because I'm making two journals at the same time. <clears throat> This is the leafy border that I used around this page. Leafy border. <coughs> and I think I'm going to put garden up here. <clears throat> Man, I took the Benadryl hoping it would help, but it hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> All right, so let's put that right there. All right, so let's see, what can I put on this guy? All right, y'all in there? Okay, got it. <clears throat> oh, you missed the way. Uh, so what I did, Tonya, was I stamped across the top, stamped on the bottom, rotated, centered, and stamped. Now, if my box was smaller, then I would grab a piece of paper and wherever my box ended, I would put my piece of paper down and then stamp 
and that way it would cut it off and not go beyond my little box. And the box was made because I sprayed a piece of paper through a stencil, and that's what made the box. <clears throat> okay, that is leafy vine, leafy border. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Mm. Clean my hands. All right, y'all ready for the raffle? <clears throat> All right, this person's going to win 200 junk bucks. <laughs> and it goes towards your, you're very welcome, Tanya. You're very welcome. Uh, that will go to uh, getting 2,000 junk bucks and you can get a $10 off coupon at my shop my way of giving back for y'all spending the time here with me. All right, let's reset. Oh no, not cancel. No, 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 no. Let's pick a winner. <laughs> Thank you, Ada, for your donation. Connie Barch, congratulations. You have earned 10 or 200 junk bucks <clears throat> <clears throat> towards your $10 off coupon. All right, so let's reset and we're going to say um, died papers and paint chips open all right i'm going to show you the prize so here's what we've got i've got some of the dyed papers i will probably fold these in half so they'll fit in a five uh, six by nine envelope and then i just grabbed a few things that were on my desk one of them is a scrap of dyed paper, some paint chips, and some various colors that kind of go, got a little smudge on there. And then I have a tutorial that's coming out, so I'm not going to show this, but I made this little guy, and he's a pocket. So you can glue it on to something else, and it comes with the little ephemera. So I made a tutorial that <clears throat> I'll be uh, showing in the next couple of days. So y'all enter the raffle if you want these little goodies. Thought I'd share share some goodies with y'all. <coughs> Man, <coughs> I'm choked up. <clears throat> All right, so let's put something. You know what? I like this look, so I'm going to do it now. Thank you so much, Janice, for your donation. I've got the Lace Duo. <coughs> And I'm just going to stamp it across the top, but not all the way down, just a little bit. So you get a little bit of a border there on the top. YouTube's being weird today. Dyed dictionary pages. Yes, Lori. <clears throat> Actually, that was a Bible page, I think. Oh, no, that was a dictionary page. I had a Bible page, too, but I don't know if I gave you one. Yes, you get a Bible page. And you get a dictionary page. So we got these two little guys. And I think, I think, I've got a little piece of paper here. <clears throat> Why not? Always dream big. Let's do that. Let's see if I can get that to fit on there. Where are my other glasses? <laughs> All right. So I don't know if my little strip of paper is big enough. Yeah, it should be. All right. So I've got always dream big and a scrap of paper. I have a little bin that I put all my papers in. <clears throat> so I'm just getting up on it and stamping that. See there? Always dream big. All right, take the glasses off. Put them where I can find them. They're in the bin. <clears throat> They're in the bin. All right, so I'm just going to trim it. And let's get a little piece of fabric. Do, do, do. So I'm just adding some distress ink. So see how you could make this with very neutral colors if you wanted, and then it would go with any kit that you're working on. 
because you could just pop it in doesn't really matter because it's kind of a neutral colors <clears throat> but we're gonna we're gonna add some fabric so I think you know I have this blue but maybe maybe this teal blue this time so I'm gonna get a little piece of this teal my these are my paper scissors and not my fabric scissors my fabric scissors are laying here so I'm gonna get them out for the next one I think like that just kind of a little piece on top of there <clears throat> Junkie Joe cheats you out of junk bucks Beverly <laughs> You did not wash your hands in Dawn dish soap because that apparently is his favorite. <laughs> you got my, I got my eye on you. Oh dear. I got a little stray string. What do you think? <clears throat> These scissors cut so much better when you're cutting fabric. All right. I need to get my paper scissors all sharpened. I've had them for so many years. I'm due to get them sharpened. One of my friends is a hairstylist, and she said they have a guy that comes in, but you know, he charges $25 to do theirs. And I'm like, I don't want to spend that much. <laughs> I can buy a new pair of scissors for less than $25. All right, so this is going to go. So that kind of gives us a neat little pattern to the page, doesn't it? <clears throat> I apologize for clearing my throat. All right, let's got another page made. Did you get to see the whole thing? So we stamped all the way around on the inside. Put the little page tab on there. We have journaling space. Alrighty. Next page. Here we go with the next page. <clears throat> Getting out all the goodies. Getting out all the goodies. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. Let me look at the page inside. <clears throat> All right, so I have from the chipboard set that comes with the garden tea party, one of the teapots, and I have painted it with about three to four coats of ivory craft paint so it has that dull look to it and it's acrylic so it will accept color quite easily so what we're going to do getting my sample ready is we're going to drop this into my little box here and i'm going to grab the sunny from the garden tea party i just thought because it was so pretty yellow such a pretty yellow new stamps <clears throat> So now I'm going to spray this, and I'm going to spray it a lot, all right? And then it's going to kind of pool and run, and I'm going to get my heat tool and just kind of dry it. So I'm tilting it so I get those runs a little bit. Some areas will get darker than the others. Oh, yeah, I'm glad, Sydney. I'm glad you're liking it. <clears throat> Did I cut my hair? Take that frog outside for a little. Thank you, Julie. Um, I did get my hair cut. Um, I think it's been several weeks now, a couple weeks now, and I flat ironed it. I, it wasn't raining yet, so I knew if I flat ironed it, it wouldn't go all frizzy on me. <laughs> I saw it, Julie. You're funny. <clears throat> hey, Barb. Yes, new stamps, Barb. New stamps. Some of them due to your prompting. All right. Did you get your order yet, Barb? 
I'm going to take this guy. Let's zoom in. Zoom in. All right. So that's the little teapot. I'm a little teapot. Here's my spout. <laughs> And I've got the tiny Cosmos. Now, if y'all have been ordering stamps for me, some of you may have gotten one of these for free because I was feeling generous, but I do offer this for sale and it's just a cute little under one inch stamp. And this is what I love about little stamps. So if you have a bunch of little stamps, look at them a little differently. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to stamp it all over this teapot even on the spout and look at that isn't that super cute how that comes out i love it it's so much fun let's we'll set that aside for a moment <clears throat> and we're going to take our page and i folded it back on itself i'm going to use the lace duo go zoom back out you love it margie yay Ricky Nelson. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lace duo and stamp it. This will be the top, but I'm doing it closer to me. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there's the lace duo, but we'll flip it over and do it on this side. Okay. Set this aside out of the way. Okay. I've got the skeleton leaf stamp and we're going to stamp it on this back side. Set it aside so I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to take the teapot and we're going to glue it down on the page. Oh wait, I got to put some distress ink on it. You kind of have to brace it with your finger. Yeah, it, you're not a flower person, but uh, this little tiny stamp is a great just little touch. I mean, look how it transformed that chipboard piece into a decorated little pot. Now you could go a step further and you could hand color each of the flowers if you wanted. <clears throat> you may have to cut his hair, Julie. You may have to cut it for him. Get your good scissors out. Put a bowl on his head. <laughs> All right, we're going to glue that right here on the page. And then up here in the corner, this is from the fussy cuts in the kit. It has become a decorated teapot. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Use it with your bee stamps. That's a great idea, Margie. That's a great idea. Use that little bee stamp with the flower. All right, we're going to flip that over. And before for the live just so that it was faster. I took another set of the tickets. So I've already, this is a second ticket idea. I know a lot of y'all get those tickets, but you're like, what am I going to do with this? I don't know. I don't understand. <clears throat> so I took some of the fabric that you get in the kit and I just stitched it down the middle. And then this is one of the fussy cut elements. And we're going to make this a belly band on the page. So I'll just put glue at the top and glue at the bottom. Now this one, I did not put tape on the back because I was sewing it to the fabric. But if you feel that it's too flexible, put some packing tape or just a piece of another paper on the back side of this and that'll help sturdy it up. But I felt this was okay once I put the fabric on it. Okay, let that dry for a moment. <clears throat> Before I put my card in it. I don't want it to accidentally stick. And then on the inside, I have some of the fussy cut elements. So this is a little teapot and these are some little flowers. It's interesting because I've used this in another area in the journal and I used it at going in a different direction. So it's very versatile.
<laughs> no tell if it looked like if you cut it. <laughs> hmm. And I I don't fussy cut super close. Now Angelica, oh my gosh, Angelica Menzel, she will fussy cut right up to that edge. She'll cut out that center and it looks amazing. And I'm like, <clears throat> on some of these flowers and such, I don't want to spend the time and I don't want it to be that delicate. Oh, you got a new sewing machine. Yay. Lord, good job, Lori. I hope it works awesome for you. So that's going to go on there. Just a simple page again. On this side, we've got the word search. Put that in here. Okay. We're rocking and a rolling. Rocking and a reeling. <clears throat> getting out all the thingies gotta get out all the little thingies here <clears throat> time for a drink how many more journal pages do i have mm. this is the one i was wrong this is the one that was the dark blue it's the water started out this color and i added red to it so it came out a lot darker than some of my lighter colors Okay, so we're doing pretty good on time. I've got two more pages to make. Woo! Trying to get all the thingies. Thank you, Barb, for your donation. Thank you, Janice, Ada, Tanya, Rhonda, Morgan, Sydney, Ashley, Margie, and Lori for your donation. <clears throat> yeah, just glue works great. I use uh, Aline's Tacky Glue. If it's paper and fabric, I use Aline's Tacky Glue. And I will tell you this, if you can find this nozzle, which usually comes on the Easy Squeeze Tacky Glue, which I don't know. Here it is. It comes on the clear Easy Squeeze Clear Tacky Gel. At some stores, it comes on the, tatter, or the uh, Tacky Glue bottle already. So it depends on where you go. You may be able to find it online. I like this one because it's a smaller nozzle. Also, I reuse this bottle. So when it gets low and I'm like, there's not any glue in there. Because I, I store mine like this. Uh, when it's not seeming to come down, I'll put about a tablespoon of water and then fill it up with uh, glue, leaving a little bit of space so I can shake it. And that helps with the consistency so it's not too runny and it's not too super thick. <clears throat> All right. $5 on Amazon. There you go. I see it. I don't like Fabri-Tac because it stinks. <laughs> so it's, it's personal, personal cho choices, okay? You spent hours on Saturday watching YouTube to learn how to use it. That's good, Lori. And don't you love that, that we have all of those available to us, that we're able to watch videos that show us how to, for example, like Lori, use our brand new sewing machine. It's, it's really quite interesting. <clears throat> okay, so I have here a sheet of music. Now, here's what I'll say about the sheet music is that sometimes it's rather fragile so you may not be able to do this exact technique if it's sturdy enough that this portion of the paper doesn't seem to tear you can use it see this one's got a little tear in it but you may have to reinforce the center and i'm i'm just kind of playing with this i think i'm going to try to find some washi tape real fast and put it in the center <clears throat> the problem is trying to find some that isn't too obnoxious looking <laughs> oh here we go this this might work i need to buy some simple washi tapes maybe more like the tim holtz you know pattern in a sense gotta find the center that's neutral i don't have a lot of neutral colors i have some really wild stuff i have things that were given to me things i picked up really cheaply <clears throat> 
So I'm just putting a little washi tape on here. Some people would put down glue. My washi tape is still fairly new. I'm going to do this to the other page that I have made. Oh, man, I ran out of washi tape. All right, well, we get to see it's all gone. <laughs> I get to find another washi tape. Here we go. We'll use some polka dots on this one. It's different, but you know, just make do. Just make do. There. I feel better now. Okay. <clears throat> so on this side, um, y'all know what, uh, this is, right? It's a coffee sleeve that you get from that store with the mermaid on it. <laughs> and here's what I did. I took it to my paper cutter and I cut, so this bottom was straight, it's curved. So I just kind of cut just a little bit all the way across. And then I rotated it and cut this straight and I cut this straight. I just did it because aesthetically I like that look better. If you like the curved, keep it curved. You don't have to. Cut it. But that's what I did. Then I attached some fabric by stitching. And then I stamped. This is the polka dot teapot set. Tea set. <clears throat> so I stamped it and I used the blue from the blue bells from the garden tea party. And I used the tea color. And we're going to make that... Make sure I've got my page. I'm going to fold it. And we're going to glue that on here as a pocket. So I'm going to try to be very generous with the glue. Now, I probably should have used little paper tabs. <clears throat> but I didn't on the other one. And my things fit. So we're just going to do it this way. I'm just going to glue it down and I'm going to grab a couple of stamp blocks and lay that on top of there just to hold it down because that curved bird has a tendency to kind of curve because it's going around a cut normally and I made it go flat. Yeah, I'm trying to use my washi up. I try not to use that much, but I need to get a couple of really simple ones that I can use. <clears throat> All right. On this side, I didn't take the time to do a video yet, but I will be taking time to do a video soon. So I'm going to do some of these things. I have a new stamp, and this is the stamp right here. It says South 40 T, organic, 3 grams, country of origin, Oklahoma. And then this area right here is blank. And I made this so that the words fit in this space down here. So for example, I stamped this and it didn't come out perfectly. So I decided just to rip it and pretend that this was an original tea box and you ripped it off and you decided to use it. And I stamped raspberry down here. Now, if I had a bigger piece of paper, then I could have stamped the raspberry above. And I'll show you that on another example in a moment. So I just made this little tuck spot. And that's going to go over here. <clears throat> so we're going to glue down the side and the bottom. And we'll glue that right here. Well, that's drying. I got a darker purple here. And I've got the herbal tea that I stamped inside my label. So if you didn't know, I have the spread your or use your wings, use your wings label set that has four stamps in it. And one of them is the blank label. And I've been making words to fit inside the blank label. And this is one of them. Yeah, because if they get hot, I do water down my tacky glue just a little bit, about a tablespoon when I'm refilling this bottle. Not a lot. And then I shake it really well for a few minutes. 
All right, that's going to go up here. What do you think? So, yeah, don't add a whole bunch. You want to add less because it could uh, overtake. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And you are going to get sick of this, but I'm going to use the Lace Duo stamp again. So this time, I'm going to turn my piece of paper. I've got some bookmarks, basically. They are two inches by six inches, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two inches by six inches. And what we're going to do is I'm going to lay this up here. And I need, what color was it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I have Salty Ocean. I've got the Lace Duo. Now, when I go from black ink to the, uh, the Distress Oxide, if I'm using archival ink, I do not clean my stamp. When I'm done using the, Archi the, the Ranger Distress inks, I will clean my stamp before I try to stamp again because that will transfer, just FYI. So I'm inking that up, and this is what I love about this. So I'm going to put both of them side by side, and we're going to stamp it just a little way above or from the top. And look how pretty that turns out, just stamping that across there. <clears throat> now I'm going to spray my uh, stamp. I use either, oh, I have a, a Thieves cleaner. It's got a little bit of water with Thieves. Sometimes I use rubbing alcohol. So I've just cleaned my stamp off. Okay. <clears throat> now I have a piece of this lace that y'all get in the kit. Get your lace in the kit. And I'm going to trim this to fit right on the front here. I thought this was an interesting way to use this little bit of lace. And by all means, you want to use more lace, do. I'm just trying to show you several techniques of pretty much, you know, the same concepts of what I've done here. All right, where'd it go? Dang it, I just had it. Oh, there they are. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down. And I'm overlapping that just a little bit. Just put a little bit of glue down. I didn't do a lot of sewing today. I'm not sure if I even have one sewing project. Yes, I do. I have one sewing project we'll do later. <clears throat> All right, so then I've got the little pansy from the kit. Yep, these cleaner to clean stamps, Lori. Yep. From Young Living. I have it in a little spray bottle and I'll just spray my stamps down and then rub them off onto a towel. And then this is my little faux postage. What steals your stamp? <gasps> All right, we'll put that right here. I thought I'd show how to make a couple of journal bookmarks. So those are going to go in here in this little pocket. I gave time for that to dry. And then I stamped the library card number two on some ivory cardstock. And I just distressed the edges. I just thought it makes an interesting layer in our pocket. And then from the kit, I have this tea that Norella made. So I like how that turned out. And on this side, I have one of Norella's tags. And I used the lace from the kit and then some of my dyed fabric in the back. Because I just thought that was pretty. Just a little piece to go over here. And then I took a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and I sprayed it with the mint Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and it, it was 
blotching up on me, which I was okay with because I just like the texture that it gave. And I had another piece of paper in my box that had a turquoisey blue on it. And so when I flipped it over, some of that color transferred. But you take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, put it horizontal across your desk, and then you're going to fold in the sides to meet in the middle. Then you'll fold down two little triangle corners, about an inch and a half. Then you'll fold this down. You want about a half an inch in this little area right here. See that? Then we're going to take the bottom and fold it up, but we don't want it too far down that it is below our tab. So see how far down I did that? I stent the Lace Duo, and this is from the ladies' uh, <clears throat> garden tea set. I stamped the two words at uh, one time, side by side. I used one of the fussy cut elements. That's going on this side. And then on this side, I stamped my tea postage, the sketched wildflowers kind of coming off. And then this is from the postal postal cute post postal collage postal collage is that I just stamp a portion of it and this fits in our little pocket right there okay so let's flip this over and work on the other side okay so I have some dyed papers that we're gonna put on this side I also have a teapot that I want to put there. Oh yeah, so then I've got a file folder that we're going to use. I'm just getting all my little pieces ready. Okay. That <laughs> thieves steal. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> steals your stamp? Not exactly. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to glue this as a tuck spot down here at the bottom. Y'all are funny. The puns, just punny. All right, so I have this piece and this piece that I want to stamp. So I'm going to move this over for a second. We're going to get our scrap of paper again, and I'm, I'm using this a lot today, and I didn't really mean to, but it just kind of one of those stamps that I felt like I used it a bunch of times, and it makes it all come together like you plan this journal a little bit. You don't have to. If you want that eclectic you look to it, then don't use it on every page. Don't use it on every element that I've used it on. Be selective, okay? I also have this little file folder here. And on this little file folder, I thought it might be kind of cute if I could find my ink, my block. Gotta find my block. And I forgot to distress it, as well as use my bone folder to crease it. So let's put some distressing. This is one of the file folders that you get in the subscription box. You get six file folders that are this side. There you have a tab on the left, a tab on the right. I don't know why I did that side. And a tab in the middle. So I want to make sure that this side is distressed. All right. So I've got this little file folder. I want to stamp on it. So I'm going to, oh, I didn't get stuck to my block. You like the unified look with the stamp, same stamp throughout? Yeah, it kind of helps. Oh, you made a tiny file folders that day. Awesome, Lori. Aren't they fun? They're super fun. All right, so I'm just going to ink these sketched wildflowers. This one I sketched up high, stamped up high, and this one I'm going to stamp down low. So it just kind of barely peeks out the bottom here. All right, then I want to stamp inside there. So I got to do two things, get my glasses. <laughs> 
get my little block. And this is from, I think it's the Thought Cube, Thoughts Cube. So it's a little bitty stamp. So we're going to get the ink. And I always stamp it onto a piece of paper just to kind of get an idea. Okay, I think I've got it pretty level. So then I'm going to line it up with this tab on the file folder that it just so happens to fit. Look at that. Isn't that stinking cute? So I didn't have to make an additional piece of paper. It fit right on there at the top. Super cute. All right. I have a piece. Of, we're going to sew one thing. Sewing lamb cam. <laughs> we're going to sew one little thing. So I have some dyed paper or dyed fabric. I've got two little pieces here. And I'm going to go to the sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch... Oh, did I go all the way around? Yep. I'm going to stitch in this little block. I'm making a special wrap for our file folder. I'm going to use this to close it. Okay. So we're going to go over here. You like that, Robin? Isn't that cute? And I've got your stamps, Robin. <laughs> all right. Let's make sure that, oh, the sewing machine cam is all out of whack. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm just getting, oh, are we, that's kind of straight. Let's see. That's a little better. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to stitch around here. Sander sewing machine, a standard zigzag stitch, black thread. I go slow with little pieces because sometimes they don't want to feed through the machine. the corner oh it did a little bit but I can pull it just a little okay all right so I just stitched around that and here's what we're gonna do I've got this little file folder I'm gonna line this up where I want it and I may need to cut it a little bit shorter so I'm gonna look at it <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to cut just a little snippet off here. And this is going to be closed on the front with the little pin. You get the, one of these corsage pins in the kit. And on the back side, I'm going to take my packing tape that hopefully doesn't have hair in it. <laughs> That's why I want to get the tabletop dispenser because I have this huge dispenser now and I have to set it on the floor. All right, I'm just going to put the tape over the fabric so that we can make this a tuck spot and it won't catch on that fabric. Okay, on here, I haven't even flipped them over yet. I took a bunch of the bling because I don't ever use the bling because I have to wait for the glue to dry. So what I did was I took a bunch of the bling and I put the best glue ever on the back side. So now they're sticky. Okay, see how sticky that is? It's stuck to my finger. And we're just going to come in here. I'm going to place a couple of these. Oh, that one didn't get any on it. Um... This green one did, but well, let's do this blue purpley one. Here we go. We'll stick that down. I'm just sticking it kind of on either side of where the pin would go. I think I want to put something here. Oh, how about this purple? Just some little bling, okay? And I'll take the time later and flip these all over so that I can... Uh,
Oh, I may, I may do that for the other one. Okay, and then I've got a little thing to show y'all. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, and it does. So I took a bead, and I put a drop of the best glue ever in the hole, and then it fits over the end, and you don't poke yourself. The bad thing is, is when you go to take this off, then you might lose the bead, but... If you're smart and you do this, take it out and then poke it back in, you'll have it when you open it up. Okay. What do you think? Is that kind of cute? Learn something, right? You like this idea? And then just take the, and then I just take a little drop of glue. Like I said, I got to do it for the other journal. I didn't do that yet. So. I wasn't sure if it was going to work and had to wait for it to dry. I, I like that. So this is going to go on our page here. This one's going to go right about there, kind of at the top of our page. And this is some of the Blackberry dyed notebook paper, and I just cut it down. You love it? Thank you so much. Well, Robin got on to, well, you need to put those earring things on there. And I'm like, well, I don't have any of those earring things. I got a ton of these daggum seed beads. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go there. And then I've got my little file folder we just made. I'm going to glue it on two sides down here. I think I need a little bit more distress ink. Okay. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right. It is time for the raffle. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the last raffle today. <laughs> Put that right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a paper clip on this just to help hold it into place. Oh, and I see something that I did on the other one. Okay, I'm going to slide this over a little bit. And I've got another one of these page tabs. The page tore on the other one in this area. And it was, this one did the same thing. So I'm just going to take this and kind of push it under. All right. Glue into place. Glue into place. Oh, I know what I can give. Okay. So I glued that as a tuck spot. And then I have this guy here that I want to glue on the other side. So I'm going to fold my page back just for a moment. So that I can see, okay, where'd it go? I just lost it. Seriously? Where did it go? I'm losing it. Did it fall off? I just had it. Is it in here? Wow. I just lost the fussy cut element that I kind of need. So it must be in a blind spot that I can't see it. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the raffle. Oh, there it is. I found it. Woo! I found it. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this paper is tearing right here. So I'm just going to take some of this washi tape. For practical provisioning on our paper. I like that. And this piece is going to glue right here. So while y'all are doing that, <clears throat> I'm going to unwind a few inches of strips here. 
We'll give y'all some strips of fabric in the next raffle. If I cut it now, see, it's done. <laughs> It'll be done, and I don't have to worry about it. It'll be ready. Good to go. All right. One more. Let's do one more. And I may put some more on there, but... <laughs> This is where we're going to stop for now. <sighs> okay. We'll do a... Oh, heck, why not? Okay. So, let's give away the papers and chipboard pieces. So, let's go over here. And our winner of the papers and the paint chips, that's what I meant to say, is Giovanna. Congratulations. You'll get my goodies. All right. We're going to reset. And we're going to say um, dyed fabric, stamped images, and dyed paper. All right, so I'm also going to add some paper to this. So we have another set coming. So I've got these pieces of fabric that I cut in different colors. They're 12 inches long. So you can use them on a journal page or make little snippets out of it. Oh, can't get a hold of the paper. Can't get a hold of the paper. So I've got uh, some paper, more of the dyed paper. So this is a Bible page, text white paper. Oh, and this was interesting. When I was dyeing the paper, I used our heat press and I laid an old cotton sheet on the bottom, then the paper that was wet, and then another piece of the cotton sheet. And when I pressed it, it put a linen texture. Y'all probably can't see it on camera. But it put a linen texture on the paper. I thought that was really cool. All right, so we're going to have these little strips of fabric. And I have, I'm going to give y'all two of these stamped note cards. All right. Try to keep it all wrangled. So I just pinned it all together. All right, y'all enter the raffle. That's a free raffle that I have going on. All right. So I've got this little element that comes in the kit and we're going to glue it down the side, maybe a little across the bottom to make this a tech spot right here. Okay. And then earlier I stamped the lavender on here and this is the fussy cut, fussy cut. And I took one of the four by four cards and trimmed it down because I wanted it to be smaller to fit behind here, but I didn't like the way it looked and I ended up doing it this way. But up here in the corner, I want to put the little cafe word on fabric. So I put it kind of in the corner. Okay, this piece is going to go here and then down here I had one of the fussy cut cards. I thought that yellow butterfly put that there. And then I have one of these fussy cut note cards, the swirly note card. I think it is. It has lines on it. Okay. And then we're going to flip this over. I've got this little piece that I stamped. It's going to go here. This is again some of the blackberry dyed paper. Okay, so it gives us a little bit of writing space. I've got I'm about to lose my cell phone. I've got a little bit of this purple fabric left, and I have some of this purple lace left. 
and I thought I would put these behind there so I'm just gonna cut just enough that it goes past and here's what I'm gonna do I'll glue down this piece I stamped my cup of happy onto some ivory cardstock and then I tore it out so you give it that jagged edge and then we're going to take this first piece of fabric and kind of put it across the top here. Yeah, this is a stamp. This is a stamp. That is one of Norella's, but this is a stamp. And I'm going to play this here. Thank you, Mary Jones. Hello. How are you, lady? So I'm just putting a few dots down where the lace is going. Again, I'm just using a lean tacky glue. I try to look at the lace to see which is the right side and which is the wrong side. Sometimes you can't really tell. <laughs> and I'm going to lay that in the glue. And then I'm just take this My Cup of Happy and glue that down on top. Okay. And then I have a journal card from the kit that's going to go right there. So here's our page on this side. Do I have this folded the right way? I think I want it to go this way. I think I'm going to change it. I want this to fold this way. So when you come to it in your journal, you have the pocket made out of the Starbucks. You have a little tab. I use some of the washi tape. Over here you have another little pocket, tuck spot, writing space behind. Then we have this little tuck space. You undo your band and you can open this up and journal inside and add more stuff to it if you want inside. So now I'm going to stick this back there. It did put a little bit of a sticky residue on the pen end, but I thought that was kind of clever. All right, and then we have our tuck spot over here. And then we go to this side, and we have these layers of goodies. This one is fluffy. All right. We have one more one more to no two more i better hurry <laughs> all right so i'm getting all of my supplies ready we've got all the supplies ready all right so this time i'm using a book out of a book page out of a gardening book okay so it has some images on it we're going to play around with where we want to place things on here and i decided i, I was watching Corey. uh is it ma'am i forgot her last name i told y'all about her last week a little bit and uh, she has fluffy bunny journal. She was showing how she likes to make a journal that becomes a tuck spot that's attached to your page. And so I thought I'd show you a different version. This is some of the text weight paper that comes in the kit. And then this is some coffee dyed paper that Beverly made. And then I happen to have some text weight paper that were cut into about four inch strips. So I thought it would be kind of cute if we take this little guy. And I'll open it up here. And I've got from the, I think it's the Bloom Cube. And I'm going to stamp it right here. Got little flowers. And I want to stamp it again right here. But wait, I have more stamping I want to do. I did text weight because I wanted it to be thin paper and not add too much bulk to my page. So now I'm going to stamp around the edge of this pink because we're going to use one of Norella's images 
in the center. So it doesn't really matter what the center looks like. Okay. And I didn't put anything on these. I did kind of quickly touch them a little bit with some distress inks. We're going to center this up in the middle. And we're going to go sewing machine, sewing lamb, cam. He's over here. Sewing lamb. This little tag kind of flies around. Sewing cam. And we're going to open this up. I'm going to center this in my book cover that I'm potentially making. And just to help me see, I'm just inking the center. Okay. Yeah. Did she have a comment? I missed it. I've seen the song with it says for it if it's fluffy. If you're fluffy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're fluffy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> If you're fluffy, then you know it. Then your thighs will surely show it. If you're fluffy, cup your hands. <laughs> All right, we're going to stitch right down that center. I'm going to get my glasses so I can see. <laughs> Y'all can make fun of me on my old lady glasses. <laughs> All right, move my cell phone out of the way. So I'm going to change this to a straight stitch. And I'm going to lengthen my stretch. Uh, I think I've got like a 4.0 on here. So I'm going to line this up. Oh, I line it up with the bottom of the inside pages. And just stitch. And I don't always back up. Sometimes I forget. All right, so there's a stitch. It's almost in the center. It's close enough. We can make it work. We can make it happen. Thighs will show it. If you're fluffy and you know it, then your thighs will surely show it. <laughs> I was trying to find something that rhymed. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so I'm going to take my bone folder increase that really well okay next I've got this Norella image that comes in the kit and we're going to glue it as a pocket we may want to put something in there I didn't have anything planned for today but I wanted to have that option so I'm gluing around that outside edge we're going to stick that in the middle Okay. So basically we've started with a little booklet that we've made that we can use. Okay. I'm going to set that up here for a moment. Let's see here. Okay. Let's do this side first. All right. So I'm looking at my journal page potentially to see, okay, how do I want to do this? So I'm thinking maybe like that, this page will be covered. Okay, this works out. So since there's images over here, I wanted them to somewhat be visible, okay, under what I'm planning for my journal page. So to begin with, I've got this guy that's going to go here. And I'm trying to find all the pieces. And then I've got this little piece that was the coffee dye paper that I had left over from when I made the pages to go in the journal. And I thought, well, that would be kind of neat up there. So we're going to use the same stamp that we used down here. Why not? Mimics the page. And I'm going to stamp it somewhat close to the top horizontally. So it kind of looks like a little... Uh, uh, bow, if you will, or a swag, the old day, the nineties. Remember those flower swags, y'all? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm using several of the digital images that you see today are all from 
the Garden Tea Party Creative Subscription Box. And we're going to stamp that right there. And this was Expect Great Things. I just stamped it onto a scrap of paper. Sometimes I'll stamp three or four out when I go to stamp uh, one for a project. That way I just have them laying here. And then I'll lay this right there. Okay, next, where'd it go? I have a scrap of fabric that I want to glue down. So I'm just going to come down the page and up. I could sew it, but I just wanted to glue it into place. So that's all I'm going to do is just gently lay that down. And I just kind of rub it with my fingers to get the glue up in it. White and black, yep. Always organizing again after buying extra bits. I understand that. Okay, so we've got that piece. And then I've got this little fussy cut element that I used earlier that I told you about. Well, this time I'm turning it vertically instead of horizontally. And we're going to put it right here. And now, here we go. This guy is going to go in this corner here. Oh, I forgot to make the journal card to go inside. Dang it. Okay. Well, y'all are just going to have to know that it has this pocket. So I'm just going to glue down the side and across and back up. Okay. And then I'm going to glue this down in this void on the page. Okay, so this flips open. We have a journal right here. And to keep it closed, I have a paper clip, but I'm not gonna put that on there yet because I need to decorate the other side of the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to this side. And here I took one of, you get these tickets in the kit. And I took one of those and I stamped in the middle T, a hug and a cup. And I used the curly swirly around the edges. And then I just tied some of the fibers that you get in the kit. And I thought that would be kind of cute. Just glued on that page. You can see this behind it. So I made little tabs on the back side of one inch pieces of paper. Y'all have seen me do this before. So that gives me the full use of that pocket. And then I have some journal cards that are going to go in this pocket. So I'm just going to flip this over for now. And we're going to work on side. Okay, so for this side... I happened to find this little tear-off sheet. I have, it's a little notepad that my mother-in-law's mother gave to me, I think. I think that's where I got it. I'm not positive. And I didn't really care. If, you know, this page didn't have anything on it. There's some pictures over here. We're going to glue this down on this side. You're working on your covered desk of new or scrap things again. Awesome. God, you got to get some work done or play. You know, remember, this is supposed to be fun. So don't get stressed out about making junk journals. Okay, so this one is another idea that you can do. Take two book pages and glue them back to back. Let me get another one. Okay, you got two book pages, but before you glue them down, rotate this one. Then, I'm going to look, this one has flowers on it, so glue them back to back. So then, you can start with, okay, this will be, let's go this way. This will be the inside. Nope, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. This goes like this. This goes like that. That's upside down. Dang, I want to go this way. 
I was trying to figure out how I could see that text. Okay, the flowers, if I wanted to. All right, so fold up from the bottom, and this side will be facing up. This is the right side up here. Fold it down, and this part will be right side up. You follow? Two pieces of paper, back to back, but one is upside down from the first one. And that will give you text going in the right direction when you fold your book page. Okay? So, doing that technique, I attach two pieces of paper together. Then I use one of the stencils in the club, in the uh, kit, with the... What I do first? I sprayed it with Tattered Angels, the uh, Tea Party just to give it a whole color and then I went over that with um, Distress Oxide Dusty Concord through the stencil and I made a little journal card for the inside by stamping the lace at the top and using teaspoon as a tab and then fold this over and here I use the chamomile stamp on about a two inch, two and a half, two and a quarter inch square. And this is from the tea, the kit. And I sprayed it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, the uh, tea color. We're going to make this a pocket on our page. So I just put glue on the sides and the bottom. Y'all are off on a tangent. Who's paying attention? <laughs> teaching materials. That, that's a lot of teaching materials, huh? All right. We'll come back to that in a moment. I just want that to dry. And I made a pocket thingy. Um, I have misplaced my piece of paper. I'll show this as a technique another time, but basically I took a piece of scrapbook paper and I folded it. So this is the back and I folded it over. So that would be the back. And then I came back this way and folded it. And then I folded in the edge. And that made a pocket. And I stamped the Bella Rose stamp on there. This is one of the fussy cut elements. And what I did was I painted the chipboard piece with ivory paint. Then I went back and kind of watercolored by using Tattered Angels. I had to keep putting the color on it. My chipboard, I didn't put enough white paint underneath. So it was kind of dulling out. So I had to do this several, several times. And then I used my Versamark watermark pad as an inking embossing powder holder. And I did some clear embossing powder on top. So this is going to be a belly band. I also made this little booklet. All I did was take a scrapbook piece of paper piece of fabric, one of the fussy cuts, herbal teas, and that's going to go in here. And this is a library card on this side. And I added some distress oxide onto this piece because I wanted there to be a difference in the color. So this is the original color and that's with the distress oxide over it. So now I'm going to glue down this side and this side only. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, what she said, Margie. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Robin. Thanks for sharing that with us. I'm going to take out this library card so I don't accidentally get glue on it. And we're going to look at our page and right about there. We're going to glue that down. So we're letting that dry for a moment and I'll talk about what I did for going into the belly band. I took another piece of the chip uh, craft card stock that I had 
and I just happen to have some. So you may have gotten one of these in one of my older subscription boxes. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three quarters long piece of craft cardstock. And I think I cut it to be four inches wide. And I have another little piece I was going to use somewhere else, but didn't. I did the method of scrunching up some fabric and stitching it across the top. And I made this like a little notepad. So I had the dyed paper that I made when I dyed the fabric. And I used one of the stencils from the subscription box with the stress oxide. Here it is on the back side, the half stencil is a different pattern. And it's on some scrapbook paper. This was 12 inches long by four and a quarter, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three and three quarters wide. And then I trimmed one down so that I would have two pieces from the same length. And then I happen to have some of this green that I just cut six inches wide. So I liked the stair step. And I used the notes on a scrap of paper. And I thought that would make a great little addition to go in our little belly band like that. And then our little note card booklet can go there. You got to make sure you're in far enough that you're not getting in your spine. And then the library card I put over here. Is that kind of cute? All right. Oh, no. You're paying attention. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for paying attention. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go there. I've got one of the elements that's going to go in the back of it. Oh, here it is. And then I stamped the T label, the South 40 T label in the middle here. I stamped chamomile. I stamped the chamomile flower plant on top. I think the lavender is too big for this. You have to cut off the lavender bottoms. But this is a four by four inch square that I rounded the corners. I used one of the curly swirly stamps around the edge. And I just thought that gave it a, a, a unique look for another journal card. And again, when we open this up, we have this in the pocket. And let's flip this over. Okay. And then on this side. Yeah. On this side, we have this from the journal kit. And I've, since I put the tabs on the pocket, all right, now I'll cooperate. That'll fit in there. And then I have this longer one that can go there. So you still see some of the book page behind. I know some of y'all like that idea, so I wanted to make sure to share it. And then I have a little scrap of paper here that I just folded in half and then folded in half again, stamped it with the curly swirly. I did my corner rounders on it, and then I just took a piece of this rip, uh, yarn and tied it into a bow. It was just easier just to pull it off than try to tie it again because these ends can start fraying. So I just slide it off because you can bend the paper. And I thought that would be kind of a cute, just the little tuck spot in there. And then to hold our journal close, I have here a paper clip. So I like to paper clip it so it's in the pocket and that's what will keep our journal on our page close. So just kind of help it. You may have to use both hands. That's okay. And I was trying to get it low enough that it wasn't interfer interfering with the envelope on the other side. Okay. Do you like it? Should that be the center or that be the center? Hmm. Getting the other page. So I made two. You love paper clips that are simple for your journals? Yeah, sometimes you, that's all you want is just something very, very simple. I was trying to use a different paper clip and I couldn't get it to work. It was a fancy paper clip. So, all right. So this is going to be a fairly simple journal page. It should go relatively quickly because I have all the elements just about ready here. 
<laughs> I've got some of the painted papers that I made that I showed y'all that where I dyed the fabric and then I dyed some papers and this was one of those pages. I think I used a darker green. Um, it was from one of the subscription boxes. Oh, what was it? I may have put it up already. I think I put it up. Anyhow, it was a darker green, so when I added the water to it, it really came down. So this is one of the stencils in the subscription box, and I've got Distress Oxide Bundled Sage. So I've got my blending tool that I wrote green on with my labeler, and we're just going to come in here and add some pattern to our page. It's subtle. It's a very tone on tone, but I like this green with the kit. All right. Thank you, Sam. You like this stencil? This comes in the subscription box. And remember on the subscription box, if you only want this month, that's the only, you know you're not going to want a different month. All you have to do is you go in after you get your goodies, of course, and you just change your selection on your, your renewal that you don't want. Thank you, Amanda. How are you, lady? Thank you for your donation. That you don't want it anymore, so you just turn off your subscription. Or you can send me a message, say, hey, I don't want it, so I'll just go in and set a date for it to end and it won't renew. I don't require you to stick with me. All right, so I just flipped it over and I'm just going on the other side. This takes a little bit of elbow grease, as they say. I didn't want to spray it again. I didn't want to alter the paper too much. I just wanted a pattern. What do you think? You're already entering for somebody? All right, if you're if you have to leave at the end here, uh, let let us know and we can find somebody to enter for you. Was it Barb? Okay. How many more minutes in the video? I am on the very last page, Lori. So probably another 20 minutes and uh, I should be able to put this journal together and be getting rid of it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna fold my piece of paper in half. And again, I'm going to use the Lace Duo. Y'all are gonna be sick of it. But I kind of like that I did use it several times. So I'm going to stamp that across here, and flip it over, stamp it across here, got to look at my page, yes, I did it on both sides, I'm going to flip it over to the inside, not just flip it over, Linda, turn it to the inside, and we're going to stamp it again, this page is going to go so fast, stamp that, okay? So we're stamped all the way around. How did I have this? Do I want it that way? Yeah, we'll do it that way. All right. So here we got this piece. I didn't think you needed to see me do it again. So here is the tea kettle. And then I stamped kettle onto one of my labels. And I thought that would be super cute down here in the corner. So I'm just going to glue it directly down on the page. Okay. We'll put this right here. And then from the kit, I have, it says afternoon tea. I'll get my block for a moment. Just pull that out. All right, we'll move this one up here. We're gonna fly through this. Gonna fly like an eagle. I'm gonna flip it over. And I've got 
tea time here. And I have a tutorial that's coming for this little guy. It is a pocket that I made. So it's got tabs on it. And it has a pocket here. And then this flips open. And it opens up. Okay, and we're going to glue that down in this corner as a little pocket. Don't fall behind. All right, so I just put a little glue on my tabs, not on my pocket piece. On the tabs, Linda. All right, so we're gonna put that right here. I'm gonna let that dry for a moment. We're gonna to flip to the inside and I'll just talk you through this. This, I used one of the tickets again and I stamped from the journal quartet number two in the middle. And then I used the T from the T stamp set that has the T leaves and T around the outside edge. I used some distressed oxide around that and I'm just going to paste that onto our page. Really simple. Hey, what was that flip closure thing? That is called a photo tab. They used to use or a um, what was the other name? I forgot the other name. But you get two of those in the kit. You get two of those in the subscription box, Julie. Look how the stencil looks. Do you like that? All right, so this is our admission rubber stamp that is from Beeline Designs. I got to make sure that I didn't glue my pocket shut. So my little ticket goes back here, and then this one goes right here. And again, this is just a little swivel thing. I didn't get it tight enough, but it it's okay. It's working. All right, and there's our last journal page. So let me make sure I have enough pages and clean up a little bit. I didn't get a chance to, y'all get in on the raffle, to uh, design a cover other than what comes in the printing kit. So that's just what we're going to do. That's how it's going to happen. Like it or lump it. You love the pop of purple? Yeah. I've drunk all my beverages. Let's put this there. Just need the glue. All right. So let's get all of our pages out. This was one of our pages. Set that over here. Go into the raffle. This is what I call the text weight papers or pages. And since I have two of those, I'm going to stack those together. And then I've got two of these. I made two journals. I don't know if we made it to that dollar amount, but I made up two journals. And then I've got these two pages. I think I like the idea of this being next to this page because it's so not complicated. So we're going to put these side by side because that's how I want to use them. And that sticks out way further than I thought it would. I may trim this down. I think I'm going to. I'm going to cut off a little bit. So let's cut off about three quarters of an inch. Let's see how long that makes it. Now I'm going to do a whole inch. I'm going to cut off a whole inch. Can you imagine if somebody took an inch off of you, how short you would be? All right. And we'll save that for something. Who knows? A 
you gotta you gotta be on the fly sometimes all right so this piece is gonna go in here This piece goes here. I think that's what I want. It's where you've got this page next to this page. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where are those? Here they are. So I didn't have a lot of time to do this during the live, so I did it ahead of time. So what I did was I took some of the tea bags because you get four in the kit and I sprayed them with the color garden tea party and then let them air dry. Uh, they, I think I sprayed them last night and let them air dry. You cannot use your heat tool on these. They will melt. Then I took a piece of chipboard and put some packing tape on it and stuck that down inside so that I could glue down this piece of fabric. Okay. And then I had a scrap of paper left over. So I just accordion folded. I didn't even put distress ink on it. And we're going to put that, sorry, I got the wrong one, uh, down inside here. And then I had a tag sitting here. I didn't embellish it. I just stamped, uh, distressed it. So I did that again over here. So I'm taking out my little piece of cardboard. So if you ever have a porous surface and you don't want it to have the glue steep through, use a nonstick surface below until it dries and then you won't have it sticking. So we're going to put this in here somewhere. So I was pointing that out so that we use them. Here are some pages that I made from my uh, Blackberry session. So here is the leafy branch. This is the swirling note card. These are elements from the kit. Elements from the kit. Leafy branch again. Elements from the kit. Leafy, leafy branch. My note card's popping out. Okay. So let's look at all these. And then I've got the pages. Oh, and I forgot to, I've got the pockets ready to go in the journal uh, cover. So we'll do the, I'll do those later. Okay. This is the cover of the subscription box. What did I do with it? There it is. Set that here. And then these are some of the pages. So here's one of the pages. Here's another page. I'll flip it out this way so you can see it. Thank you, Janice. You like that idea, Julie? Thank you. When I was going to use the Garden Gate stamp, I didn't get that out. I was just like, there's so much I could use. And at the same time, I didn't want to go absolute crazy. I even got out the Bird Bath. I was going to use that stamp and didn't. All right. So I think I want that to be my first page. And then... You know, I think it'll be okay if that's the second page, third page. I think I want this in the center. I just like the way that came together. Or we can do this one in the center. But I think I like this one for the center because I did make it somewhat coordinate. And if you're looking at it in the dead center, it all flows across the page. So we're going to make that our center. And we're going to put music here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One. I'm trying to get these all organized. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I guess I did eleven pages. I was like, why do I have so many? Oh, I think that'll fit right there. Okay, good. I was trying to find a spot where I could stick this little tea bag, and I did. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the journals. 
Purple side center. Okay, good. <laughs> bird stamp. I know I was going to use bird, bird tree, a, a bird a bath stamp. And I didn't. I got it out, but I didn't use it. I drank all my beverages, and now I need to vacate what is in my bladder. <laughs> All right, so I have four printed journal pages amongst all the fluffy pages. We really made this one fluffy. Oh, that worked out really well with the pink next to each other. Doing the different types of stamping around the edges. Uh oh. This may not work. I may have to swap it out. It may be too um, tall in this tuck spot. And then this will be our dead center. And then we'll do the next one last. Oh yeah, a little bird fest is cool, cool, cool. No, it's an old one. It's an old one. I just was gonna get it out today and use it, and I never put it on the desk to stamp with it. I kind of like that little piece sticking out just a little bit. My shoulders are tired. I guess I put all the tabs on the front half. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to swap this around. Something's too tall, it kind of flips on the page. Alrighty, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bind the journals together. Then I will draw the last raffle. And as I do a flip through of the journal, they're both the same. Uh, we will start the drawing for those who donated to be able to um, join the raffle and get this journal. As part of their, I call this the uh, YouTube donator membership that I have on my website. If you donate, then I put you in my membership on my website. That membership entitles you to, during the stream that you donate, a chance to win the journal that I'm making. And then you get some digital downloads from my shop. And you get discounts on items from my shop. All right, so I'm just clipping that so it won't shift on me. And I've made a little template. We're going to do a pamphlet stitch. So I'm just going to poke holes here and then stitch it together. And if you want a prize, make sure that I have your mailing address by going to lindaisrael.com. And using the contact me form, if you donated today and this is your first time to donate, make sure that you create a user account at lindaisrael.com so I can get you added to the YouTube donator membership. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of wax and thread three times the height of my journal. One, two, three. I'm doubling it because I'm making two and I will cut it. All righty now, I need to clean out my little bag because all my needles are way at the bottom, I guess, under all these giant paper clips. All right, so I have these book binders needles that I offer in my shop. I have a junk journal tool embroider bag as well. 
and I should put my other glasses on so I could thread that needle. All right, so we're going to go down the center. Super duper groovy! Do a pamphlet stitch. I'll be adding more rubber stamps this week. I've had a couple of special request images, so I'll be working on designing that. I have a tutorial that will be coming. I have another tutorial planned. I've already forgotten what I was going to do. Um, I am doing the subscription boxes right now. Those are available to order, pre-order. The shipping of the kits will happen on August the 15th. If your renewal happens between August the 15th and the 24th of August, then you won't get your box until I get back from vacation. Ironing. Yeah, sometimes I iron stuff. All right. So it's it's not too bad, but it's got a little fluff to it. All right, let's find the other one. Are we doing both journals? Did I see it? Don't. Yeah, not this Thursday, August the 5th, I'll be live. I don't think I've got it scheduled yet, but I will get that scheduled so that link will be available when we talk about it next Monday. Next Monday, I will be showing a, how to use the large journal kit. Uh, by the way, I printed my kit on my home HP printer. This page is not straight. Yeah, that's a little better. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Yeah, the ironing coffee dye paper is not fun. I like using the press. That was so amazing to dry the dyed papers. I'll be doing that more often. It's just so hot that I didn't want to do it the other day, so I just let them air dry. All right, we're about ready. Y'all ready for this? Okay, we have one journal. Oh, good. I get to keep one. That'll help me. That helps me a lot. Because then I'll have a sample journal. I have a workshop in August. So, okay, we're just doing one journal raffle today. We're not even going to take money for a second one. I'm keeping it. It's my journal. <laughs> you have a steamer and don't like that either i've never had a steamer i i could see using them for some things that's okay yeah hair air drying does take a while i agree julie okay so we're going to raffle off this journal in just a moment y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already and then we're going to flip through this very fluffy journal. I would have made a wrap cover to go with it, but I didn't have time. Okay. Y'all entered the raffle. I'm making sure the winner of these fabric strips and dyed papers. We're going to get that. I need a drink of water. Now oh, your heat, your heat tool, your heat gun. Yep, yep. Gum? You, you use heat gum, Julie? <laughs> All right. The winner of the goodies is Manda Dawn. Congratulations, Manda. You got some goodies coming your way. I think you're getting a subscription box. I can put it in there. Yay. Saves me on additional shipping. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a raffle for one journal. This is for those who donated. 
So we'll reset. Okay, click here. So if you donated, and I'll name off everybody that donated. Amanda Dawn, Mary Jones, Suzanne Roberts, Barb Dingwell, Janice Brammer, Ada Bella Flores, Tanya Chan, Rhonda Bennett, Morgan, Sydney, Ashley, Margie, and Lori. Now, thank you so much, Janice. Uh, remind me of who I'm supposed to enter the raffle for, Robin. If you'll say, I'll try to look for that. And thank you all for being here. Thank you for being a part of the live stream. Hey, if y'all do me a favor when the live is over, if you'll go and leave a comment below, it helps YouTube's algorithms that we're having a conversation. So let me know what you like. What was your favorite part? Or maybe what you didn't like. And I'll just say, well, bless your heart. <laughs> All righty. So here is the front cover. I love the colors that Norella used because I picked them. I gave her a color palette to choose from and she says, I can work with all of those. And I'm so glad that she had the choices to play with. Uh, this is one of my stencil designs and she used that to make this beautiful background. And I love how this can be together. This is another one of my stencil designs right here that she used. And this is another one that she used over here. She is, uh, did a bunch this time. So we did the stamping and I made a shorter tag to go inside here so that it doesn't stick out as far. This is a tuck spot here and that is a pocket there if you want to put something in it. Use the Lace Duo. I liked how the stencil page is just very subtle. It's very subtle. Is Morgan Plan still here? Is Lori Merchant still here? Let me see if they're getting entered into the raffle. Okay, I don't see either one of those in the raffle yet. So we'll go right to the end. And then here we did the Lace Duo again. And the journal. Made the coffee band pocket. Use one of Norella's images and put some lace on it. And then I made a little envelope that you can unfold and use this hole inside and the, these edges here if you want to journal upon. That just flips down in here. On this side I used the faux postage T-post. I used the sketched wildflowers and I just love that it's kind of messy. And then I showed y'all the tea bag that I dyed and just put a few goodies. I thought we'll just stick that right here. It's a little stiff. Use a little tab there. On this side, I made a little journal card where I stamped the lavender and used some of the elements from the kit. And we stamped the lace over here, made this tuck spot. This goes behind. And then this opens up. This one doesn't have the bead, so I'll make one. And then this goes in here. Okay. And then the belly band using the tickets. I love the pinks next to each other. I think that worked out really well. You'll be entering for Morgan. Okay. And am I? Okay. Lori did that. Okay. To Barb. Okay. Barb Dingwell isn't here. Okay. Somebody speak up and say, hey, I'll enter for Barb's behalf. And this is Always Dream Big. The little colors here. I didn't put anything on the printed pages. I just love the way those look. Journal card here. Stamped on the edges. And then this is a tuck spot up here. It's rather fragile, but you can put something in this way. I was going to make a card or something. I didn't get that far. I think I did a lot of other stuff. And then this opens up. So you have all this writing space and it works out because even though this is thin paper, because it's glued down to the page, we're not going to have to worry about seeing what's on the other side. And over here, this covers up. So you're not going to see the writing bleed through that way. So if you have really thin papers, sometimes it's okay. It's just a little bit more fragile. Yeah, the printed pages are gorgeous. I just didn't put anything on them. This is a tear-off page that I had, and I just thought it would be interesting to 
throw it in there. It has a little birdie. So I added a birdie from the kit. That's again my stencil design on the outside edge that Norella used. And then here's the South 40 T stamp and the chamomile and the curly swirly around the outside edge. And this flips up, and this opens, and I use the lace duo in the blue and type or print little, little, little stamp the teaspoon on the label. Oh, Barb is here. Barb is here. Get in the raffle, Barb. Barb is back. And then this is a tuck spot on this side and has a little piece of paper that I embellished with some fabric and one of the fussy cut elements. This is a library card. This is a belly band that holds a little notepad. So you have all this writing space. And it's just pretty purple. And then over here, I didn't put anything above. We have the T is a hug and a cup. And then this is one of the elements from the kit. Elements from the kit. Scrap of dyed paper that I folded in half and folded in half again round the corners. Stamped and then tied a little bow on so you can unfold that to have a little notepad. From the kit, leafy branch over here. It's the swirly note card with one of the elements stand, uh, glued on top. Life begins after tea, and then the, the uh, sketched wildflowers around the edges. This is the uh, leafy border there. You can see it's kind of thick because of the rhinestones here. Those are thick. I don't like using them very often, so. But I did for y'all. You got to research tea scum today at work. Ooh, Amanda, that doesn't sound good. Oh, no, be careful, Sam. I love the little teapot, how that turned out. Tuck spot here. Writing space up there. Journal cards. Just variety of things. I think the green blends in really well. I did use some uh, scrapbook paper. That's been my goal is to try to use scrapbook paper. And remember, this is a pocket here, and this is a tuck spot there. And then here is And I did do some. All right, so I haven't stamped it, so let's do that. And we're going to do this journal made by. We're going to ink this up and stamp it. Everybody get in on the raffle. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robin is entering for Morgan. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, this journal made by, who made this journal? And this is the, oh yeah, to, yesterday was the 30th anniversary of our first date. Thank you, Nadine, for your donation. Make sure you get in the raffle. Mm. I'm out of water and I'm thirsty. All right, we'll do that. Let's make sure she got in. Nadine got in. Mary Jones. All right. So these people donated. Nadine, Mary, Mary, blah, 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 blah. words do not work. Nadine, Manda, Mary, Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. Barb, Janice, Ada, Tanya, Rhonda, Morgan, Sydney. Ashley, Margie, and Lori. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And Robin is in for Morgan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 people. I have Ashley, Rhonda, Manda, 
Sydney, Suzanne, Lori, Robin in for Morgan, Barb, Janice, Mary, Tanya, and Nadine. So we're waiting on Margie. I think she's waiting till the end. Did I say? And Lori's in. Your computer just went loco. Oh no. Oh my gosh, Marge. <laughs> That's hilarious. The friend who drives me is insane. You had your 20th anniversary on July 4th. Well, congratulations, Barb. <laughs> oh, she lost connection. All right, let's see if she can't. She got that typed out. Let's see if she got entered into the raffle. There she goes. She's in. She's in. I think I got everybody. It's trying to trying to read everybody's names hard. We've got Ada. Ada. Ada, where are you, Ada? You didn't enter the raffle. I'll give you a second. That's longer than you were married for, Barb. Hey, well, you know what? Your computers, that's okay, Margie. That's okay. We got you in. Ada, are you still here? Yep, yeah, Ada's still here. Ada, get in on the raffle. I'm trying to make it fair, y'all. I'm trying. And again, I had somebody send me a message. They were upset that I, you know, got people entered. But if I didn't know you left, then it's hard for me to enter for you. So you have to speak up <laughs> before you leave. <laughs> Ada got in. All right, let's pick a winner. The winner is Ada. How funny. Okay, now I have watched the algorithms and it isn't always the last person who wins because I had several other raffles that it wasn't the last person. So it's not that consistent, <laughs> but it was today. All right, Ada, congratulations. You are the winner of the journal. Thank you so very much. I'll be shipping out, uh, prizes with the subscription box elements and orders so if you have an order it helps me not have to pay near as much shipping <laughs> i did get a computer a coupon code set out but if you are owed a coupon code from today's live uh, i will get those out tomorrow or wednesday yeah it's funny it happened last week yes you're right sam we got it JJ's male robot. What do you expect? Exactly, Sam. That's why we named him Junkie Joe. Because if it was a woman, she wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> I love how this came out. I hope you enjoyed seeing my take on using all these elements and like the chipboard pieces. I was just trying to find the pages with the chipboard pieces. You're doing the salsa dance. Yay! Congratulations, Ada. All right. I will be back Monday. I will be working on the large journal kit. Leave comments below. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Come back next Monday and as well as next Thursday. If you have a technique that you want to see for Mixed Media Thursday, definitely leave a comment below. Or you can head over to my website, lindaisrael.com, and use my comment to send me a message there. All right, I think I have some messages that I owe to people. So tomorrow will be computer day. So I'll be trying to answer a bunch of messages. I will watch this with focus soon. You're very welcome, Sam. Well, I hope it helps you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Julie. That's right, Sam. <laughs> you just got an email from me? I think you just paid for your kit, probably. You're very welcome, Suzanne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll be sending out a newsletter too. I just didn't get, I didn't have the time, but I will be sending out a newsletter. It will have links to the, the videos, tutorials, and all the products. If you have questions, definitely feel free to ask. All right, everybody, I'm going to get off here. Bye, Suzanne. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Robin, for your help. I really appreciate the administrators of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. I don't know why that did that. Um, 
she is my right hard hand woman and i am so blessed to have her in my life so thank you so very much all righty i'm gonna get off here y'all have a blessed week we'll see you monday